This LOS is describe the valuation allowance for deferred tax assets, when it is required, and what impact it has on financial statements. Recognition of a valuation allowance. Deferred tax assets must be assessed at each balance sheet date. So note, a devaluation allowance only applies to deferred tax assets, okay? If there's any doubt whether the deferral will be recovered, then the carrying amount should be reduced to the expected recoverable amount. Should circumstances subsequently change and suggest the future will lead to recovery of the deferral, the reduction may be reversed. Under U.S. GAAP, deferred tax assets are reduced by creating a valuation allowance, okay? Establishing a valuation allowance reduces the deferred tax asset and income in the period in which the allowance is established. Should circumstances change to such an extent that a deferred tax asset valuation allowance may be reduced, the reversal will increase the deferred tax asset and operating income. Because of the subjective judgment involved, an analyst should carefully scrutinize any such changes. So I made a little note down here. This is really easy to understand. You've got a deferred tax asset, okay? That's an asset. Remember, assets equals liabilities plus equity. And the valuation, just remember, the valuation allowance is when we are reducing the deferred tax asset. So E has to go down and it's going through the income statement. It's gonna reduce the income, correct? Then it says the reversal, if you're reversing the uh, valuation allowance, that means the asset is going up, so E has to go up, and it's gonna increase your operating income. So remember, establishing a valuation uh, allowance reduces the deferred tax asset, that's what you have to remember. A goes down, E goes down, and it's through income. If, the, if I reverse, the, uh, the allowance, it's going to increase the deferred tax asset and the uh, operating income. So this is, this is a pretty easy uh, LOS actually, easy concept to understand. So we're just gonna finish this LOS with one quick practice question. Under US GAAP, what is the most likely effect of the reversal of a valuation allowance related to a deferred tax asset on net income? A, no effect, B, a decrease, or C, an increase? So the correct answer is C, the reversal of a valuation allowance increases the deferred tax assets, decreases the deferred tax expense, which is gonna increase the net income. So just as a little review, uh, I put the, the points again, establishing a valuation allowance, when it's established, it reduces the deferred tax asset and income in the period in which the allowance is established. Should circumstances change to such an extent that the deferred tax asset valuation allowance may be re reduced or reversed, the reversal will increase the deferred tax asset and operating income. And that's the last slide for this LOS. Thank you.